Hello my friends, today we are going to be checking how to play with this super interesting effect, the CC Smear, Smear, I don't know how to pronounce it, in Adobe After Effects. This concept comes from this kind of thing that was created to make cartoons way more interesting. Kinetic Type Series by Hulk79 so let me drink a little bit of water. Uh, we are already here. I have a new composition only with a text. In this case, we are going to be playing with polymath. And yeah, the first thing that we need, obviously, is the CC smear here. Remember always to use the effects and presets search box to your advantage, it is a great tool. So we apply it to the layer, bada bing, and you can see uh, how amazing this is just from the get go. Uh, we have these two controls here that are the from and to, okay? And you can just position one at a place and the other wherever you want, and then you just play with the radius, okay? so that it gives it a little bit of a different outcome in, ter in terms of how it's deformed and then the reach here okay so if it is at 100 percent it goes all the all the way from one control to the other so i'm going to keep them like this yes very well aligned horizontally because i want to make an animation that place with the X axis so that way I think I'm going to have something very cool I'm going to increase the radius and I'm going to um, make them or move them so that they are a little bit closer to each other so now I'm going to come here to the layer I'm, do I'm going to hit P to show the position and with the position selected I click I make right click and I'm going to separate the dimensions okay because I'm only going to deal with the X position so I go to the beginning I put here the first keyframe and let's say that obviously as I always say this is going to be a two second animation right now but after I create it I can move the keyframes around to make it quicker or slower or whatever is needed so I'm going to move it laterally until it is not anymore framed and at the beginning it is going to come from the right I think that's kind of it and now it's a matter of checking out the outcome so maybe this is a little bit too extreme so I'm going to increase the radius and decrease the reach here so let's check it out again and I think that's pretty cool the last thing that I'm going to do is if I stop it like here you see that as this is a, an effect that plays with the typography visually and it's, it is very extreme you see here it's not very clean it, it starts to feel a little bit low res in a way so I'm going to apply a simple choker this one here to the layer and I'm going to increase it a little bit and obviously it's going to make some aspects of the typography a little bit rounder but what I want to stay away is from this kind of situation where things doesn't look very clean so I'm going to increase it a little bit more and yeah I think that's that let's frame it and play it out play it again some and uh, yeah this is very very cool so again we just started to scratch the surface with this effect but obviously you can play with the where these controls are positioned and a lot of different stuff here so i think it's a very simple effect but it has tons of possibilities so start playing with it and let me know how it felt to you thanks for watching and see you in the next one Kinetic Type Series by Hulk79.